All right, guys, welcome back to the original subscriber game where we came out of Oz and have pretty much dominated uh, Southeast Asia here. So we're continuing on. Um, we, we do have a new arrangement with uh, Central Europa here. Um, we will not be clashing with them, and that's good news for us for sure. Um, what we are going to do instead is turn to the Northeast and eventually to North America here. Now, we've talked about the fact that there are some members of Central Europa already in North America. And so we're just going to conquer over until we butt up against them and then probably head south. I do know that uh, Central Europa more or less has their uh, <clears throat> work cut out for them as they attack down into shot collar here and what looks like a pretty tight knit African coalition here. So um, we too have uh, our work cut out for us in the uh, Alaska nightmare coalition here and specifically South Usuri here. Let's see South Usuri. Where is his capital? Ooh, well, that's not good. That's not good at all. <clears throat> he's got his capital just right there and it does look like we already have coalition members moving in um, to be ready to go ahead and start the game look at that that's great coalition buddies way to go look at this stack nice it's always good to have a battleship in there to stiffen things up and that's exactly we got three battleships in there nice and a sub yeah that's a nice little fleet we got going here um, a nice stack here, ready to attack. Okay, good. Um, it's a big part of why I'm doing this video is to prep us for that move northward. So it does look like um, South Borneo is on the ball. He's ready. Um, he's got his, his border stacked nice and heavy against what is obviously going to be a really, really powerful enemy. So um, we need to make sure that South Borneo is not doing this alone. And that does mean um, Darwin, <clears throat> you can see Darwin is also um, starting to build some stacks up as well. And that's exactly what we need to do. Um, we really need to be ready to pounce and attack. Um, yeah, looks like Darwin's got some stacks here that are waiting. Um, now, somebody mentioned on the chat that uh, they were going to be ready to attack into North America next week. And I, I did want to just say, um, you know, if we're going to do this together, yeah, I think it looks it, that's that's what's going on here is is they're staging to this island. Who is that? Is that? Uh, I don't know who that is. Um, anyway, um, I just did want to remind everybody um, that we have got to take care of this guy before we do anything else. I mean, if, if we attack into um, the nightmare coalition, uh, this guy is going to attack down into us. I mean, they are a coalition after all. So, um, we really have to assume that we will need to take care of business here before we do anything else. So, um, let's all, let's all kind of keep that in mind. Um, those of you guys over here, so Java and uh, Esperance, feel free to conquer as far as you can get. Um, Let's see, NY2 Dave. No, he's unaffiliated, so you can attack. It does look like you've still got plenty of room to expand here into all of these territories. <clears throat> Esperance into this territory. Just please remember, once you're done conquering, we do depopulate our border with Popcat here. And you can see Popcat is already doing that. So he's, on, he's already honoring his own uh, treaty uh, obligations, which is great. Um, it does look like Popcat is attacking in here. I want to be really careful not to accidentally attack him, which means let me go ahead and move command these guys. Um, there was not an arrow there earlier, so he must have just made that command. Um, what is happening here? Why is it next attack? What? My selection has been weird lately. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. Oh, it's because, yeah, no, that's weird. All right, uh, again, though, well, look at that. Isn't that strange? Why is it doing this? It's 
selecting weird stuff. That's not, first of all, that's not what, what's in front of me here. But second of all, yeah, it's not even giving me a command menu. So that's weird. Um, all right. So I'm just move clicking those just to be sure. And you can see the difference, of course, between the, what is going on here? The selection has been weird on, on my PC here lately. So you can see now the, the command lines are green instead of red. So really that the intention of that is to keep me from accidentally attacking Popcat. Um, if, if he happens to get there uh, before me, which he really shouldn't, because that's a lot of enemy territory to traverse, whereas I only have a little bit. So um, I can just check, can't I? 3.52 p.m. He'll get there. Yeah, 447. So I'll take this territory. I, I couldn't couldn't hurt to have a double iron there. Um, and then, you know, once he finishes conquering over too, I have to assume he's going to wheel around and start to pressure down into the Middle East here, where Shot Collar is a dangerous opponent. Um, just as we, when we finish our conquering up through here, we are going to kind of start to pressure uh, this guy here. So let's let's see what his name is so we can talk about him. Zele. So, or Zeleo, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, and also, by the way, um, for Java and Esperance um, and Otago, once you're done over here in the West, then um, I leave it up to you guys. If you want to attack down into the Middle East and into Africa, um, that's great. That's fine. Um, I think, I hope I'm not being too bold, but I think that Darwin, Borneo, and I should be able to take on this guy. Let's just go ahead and check how many territories this one guy controls. 99. 99 territories and a bitch ain't one. So that's not to be scoffed at. I have 123. Um, Borneo has... 177 and Darwin has way too many 216 so honestly the three of us really should be able to take this guy on he's big and he's going to have some stacks and that's going to be a fun war to wage um, but I, but I really do think the three of us can handle that um, and also do we have yeah Borneo is kicking butt um, so you know with all the Navy that I know that, that those three have um, and all the troops we can muster, we should be able to take him on. I do feel bad for Zelly um, just because he put his, I don't know why he put his capital. Like, I guess we've, I guess we've comp conquered up against it or something, but uh, it's, it's a bad look for him. He's going to lose his capital and quickly. Um, so, hmm. oh, well, um, so that's kind of, kind of what this video is all about is to kind of rally Borneo, um, Darwin and I to start to think about this huge adversary up here that we're going to have to deal with um, and how we want to coordinate that war. Um, I do have in the neighborhood, let's just grab a handful here. In this neighborhood, I do have about 688 troops, um, 20 cannon and various other stuff. So I can contribute a little bit. I did get knocked down quite a bit. And thanks to my friends, by the way, who came in and saved my ass um, when we when we attacked Geraldton, um, when we tried to take back that territory from our previous ally. Um, my, my friends really came in and saved my saved my bacon. And I've been rebuilding since. So I, you know, I've got some I've got some stuff I can bring, you know, around 700 and I'm also happy to say that I'm, I'm slowly developing all of these doubles as I'm moving up through here. So I'm starting to get some real air capability now, which is, which is going to be crucial for me. So in the next week, I'm going to be building a lot of bombers. I've got, I think, three bombers on the, on the map right now. And I think I've got three more building. And then I've got a couple aerodromes uh, building. So again, I'm going to lean really heavily on the air uh, production as I move forward. Um, Hopefully the rest of us will as well, because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure a bomber can skip from here to here. Maybe even a fighter. That's a pretty, let's just grab a fighter and, and check the radius. Um, that's pretty, 
pretty narrow little strait there, the Bering Sea. I think in real life, it's like maybe 90 miles or something. It's not that far. I um, thought I had a fighter I could... I do. I've got a fighter somewhere, by golly. I think he's just stacked with, with the bomber. Nope, he's not. Uh, maybe I just lost my fighter somehow. Hmm. Or maybe that was a different game. And I'm losing my mind. It could be that also. Well, I am building a fighter. Maybe that's what I think. Maybe that's what I was thinking in my, my little head. So let's just go ahead and grab this bomber. Um, whoa. And I unclicked it. Of course I did. Grab this bomber. And all I'm doing here is just kind of checking the radius. Um, just to get some sense of the scale. Um of what's going on over here. So let's go ahead and just move. And oh yeah, look at that. Look at that range ring. I'm pretty sure a fighter can get across there as well. Just looking at that ring. Um, almost 100% certain. Yep, that a fighter can make it as well. So let's just unclick this. Get off of that. Don't send my bomber into the ocean. And uh, oh, what do we got up here? Oh, look at you, Esperance sneak attack guy up there. I like it. I like it. But don't forget, we're not attacking immediately. Um, we do have to attack into here first. But again, you know, I, I will say this, Otago, um, Esperance, um, you know, especially Otago, who's based over here, you know, you can, you can toy around with the idea of attacking into, uh, South America, if you wanted to, or, you know, I just wouldn't attack any of the coalition members, right? So, um, African coalition, look at this guy over here. I don't know why you're there, but I just, I wouldn't attack any of the Alaska nightmare guys quite yet, because that could set off the continental war here that we're trying to delay or at least get in place for so that we can really bring down the hammer efficiently. If we can coordinate our attack from three fronts, from three countries, um, we should be able to overwhelm him, uh, but it will be painful. There's, you know, I, I have no doubt that he has some 500 stacks um, in here. Oh, he doesn't have, doesn't have level two forts going. Wow. Hmm. Maybe he is overconfident. I wonder what's going on over there. Hmm. Well, okay. Oh, okay. This is like, has he started the war? No, this is a different country here. Oh uh, yeah. Yep, taking over that AI. Heck yeah. All right, so that's it, guys. Um, you can see I'm finishing up my war here. Um, probably will try to move into this AI, but I'm sure Popcat will as well. Whoever gets it, gets it. Um, yeah, I'm a little uncomfortable grabbing the same material here. Uh, but as I mentioned, when I first attacked, that arrow was not there. So, you know, he's taken that risk as well. And I guess if we accidentally go to war, we can always just declare peace or whatever right away. But I'm sure we both want that double iron. Why the heck not? Um, let's see how many territories he has, just out of curiosity. It's going to be ridiculous. Yeah, 342. <laughs> oh, my God. That's ridiculous. All right. Um, cool. So that's it. Um, really just wanted this video to be a call to arms against uh, Northeast Asia here. And, uh, and then a reminder to... Uh, Java and Esperance that you're welcome to attack down into here. I believe, um, I'm not sure if it was Java. I think it was, I think it was Jack, um, who is Gascoigne. Ah, no, it was Finley. Finley, um, Finley reached out to me and said, he's already been in, in a conversation with central Europa about attacking down into, uh, Africa with them. So, um, I'm glad that everyone's being genial about it because, you know, I'm not, I'm not butthurt that they're already in North America. And so it's, it's cool that they're being nice about, uh, you know, conquering down in, uh, you know, coordination with us as well. So, <clears throat> you know, by the end of this, it's going to be fun. I, I guess I just have to assume it's going to be a showdown or I don't, you know, I've never actually won a 500 player game or gotten to the end of a 500 player game. I've only played two other full 500 player games. I mean, they take months, you know, um, and, and you can find those, those stacks are, uh, 500 nation army 
And then there's another playlist called another 500 and uh, 500 nation army was fun. And we got, we got smoked, we got destroyed, but it was so much fun. Cause it, you know, it's just these giant stacks of, you know, 1700, 2000 troops and, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70 cannon. Um, it's just, it's just great when, when things get that big, it really is a lot of fun. Um, I do worry that it's going to crash people's computers though. Like, I, you know, it's already doing weird stuff for me. Like when I grab a whole bunch of stuff, it'll often give me an error message because it just can't handle that much. Like, so if I try to move them, let's see if it gives me that message. Eh, well, it's trying. But anyway, it'll sometimes say something like the server state does not match or something. It's basically just going, hey, cut it out. We can't do this anymore. All right, stop. Okay, get off of there. All right, so um, that's it, guys. Uh, let's... Let's gird our loins for battle. Um, it's coming up here soon. And I do understand uh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like Darwin can still expand up into here. Um, Borneo, though, is already stacking up stuff here. So um, that's great. That's great news. Um, and a particularly large stack here, that's absolutely going to be uh, crucial in this upcoming battle because you know he's got his capital protected as well as he possibly can. That's that's almost certainly where his biggest stack is going to be. And certainly, yeah, that's that's above level. Oh, and he's got a rail gun um, in the background, thinking that that's a good position. But it's really not, because we got boats. We got boats, bro. All right. Well, anyway, um, that's it. Thanks for checking in, guys. This is going to be exciting in the next week or two here. As we, uh, as we start this next campaign against the Alaskan Nightbear. It's going to be great. All right. Thanks for checking in. Adios, mi amigos.